If you clicked on this video, you probably want to become your best self. So keep watching because I'm going to be sharing my five steps for becoming the woman you want to be. Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jills and I talk all about health, wellness, and self-development for women. So if that's something you want to learn more about, be sure to hit the red subscribe button below as well as a notification bell so you don't miss when I put out any new videos. I'm just going to dive right into this one, so let's go. The first step to becoming the woman you want to be is to actually know who you want to be. Surprisingly, not a lot of people actually take the time to sit down with themselves and figure this out. They might have a high-level idea of what they want and how they want to feel, but have you ever taken the time to really sit down and think specifically about who you want to be as a person and what you want out of life? And there is no right or wrong answer here. Only you can answer who you want to be, who you want to be like, what you want to achieve. This can be a little bit scary because we're basically admitting to ourselves that we're not there yet and we're not who we want to be at this point in time. But there's a lot of beauty to be found in the journey. You can still want to grow and change and be a quote better person in your eyes while still fully loving who you are at this exact moment. My advice is to have this as clearly defined as possible and write it down. Just take out your journal and write. Write down adjectives or phrases that describe the type of woman that you want to be, that resonate with you, and that make you excited. This excitement is guiding you for a reason. So if you haven't done this step yet, then this is where you need to start. Once you know what you want, you can start growing towards that. The next thing you need to do on your journey is to find find expanders. So what are expanders? This is a term I think coined by Lacey Phillips who talks a lot about manifestation and inner child healing, but basically an expander is a person who already has what you want, who already is who you want to be, who's already achieved what you want to achieve. Expanders basically help you to realize that what you want can become a reality for you too. Expanders can be people you know in real life or just, you know, people you follow on social media, but these aren't people that we're meant to be envious of or idolize. They're meant to excite us and inspire us because they've already created for themselves what you want, meaning it's just as possible for you to do the same. But here's the thing, we can have different expanders for different aspects or areas of our life. It's really rare to find an expander that just has everything you want but sometimes but oftentimes what you want is very unique to you so you can have an expander for career you can have an expander for romance you can have an expander for health and you can have an expander for money you might not be able to find expanders overnight but once you know what you want as you go about your day in your life be really conscious of finding these expanders and if you don't have these people in your life personally remember that they can be online type people too when I was really sick and dealing with my autoimmune issues and was just at my worst one of my expanders for me was an influencer slash businesswoman and she was just filled with life and had so much energy was so vibrant and knew so much about health and wellness in general and I wanted to be that and when she popped up in my feed it didn't make me bitter I was inspired by her and as I grow and as I change my expanders change so find your expanders and use them to realize that you can have that life too that you can be that kind of person too. Once you have what you want pretty clearly defined and you know that it's possible for you, AKA your expanders, then the next step to becoming the woman you want to be is visualization. And this is a powerful and very crucial step, so let me explain. Our thoughts turn into feelings and our feelings turn into actions. And our actions are what create change. When we visualize and think about who we wanna be and what we want as if we are that person, and that's the important part, as if we already are that person. And if we fully embody this visualization, then we'll start to feel it. You'll feel good, you'll feel confident, you'll feel loved, you'll feel successful. This step is really, really important. You need to feel this through your body you need to feel what this feels like just visualization alone is not enough you need to feel this visualization and once you're able to truly feel it you'll start taking inspired action you'll start acting in accordance with those feelings and who that visualized person is and these actions will drive this growth at the end of the day you can think all you want about who you want to be and what you want to achieve but if you don't take the action necessary to get there 
then you won't ever get anywhere. But visualizing and feeling this and truly embodying this will drive you to take that action. And when you start embodying this and feeling as if you were that person, you start to bring into your life that which matches your vibrational energy, AKA all the things you want and desire. Now this is kind of just the basic process of manifestation and it might sound silly, but it's powerful and it works. So don't ignore the step because this is very crucial. But here's a pro tip. The first 30 minutes after waking up and the last 30 minutes before falling asleep are the two times of the day where you have the most access to your subconscious mind. So I highly recommend that you do these visualization exercises during this time, either both times or one or the other, because this can make more of an impact. When you can access your subconscious more easily, this can basically help to make these shifts happen faster. Now, another step that I find really helpful on this journey to becoming the woman you want to be is affirmations. And this is a little bit similar to visualization. So if you don't know what affirmations are, affirmations are just basically present tense I am statements. So for example, I am wealthy, I am beautiful, I am confident, I am healthy and vibrant. You can make your affirmations as simple or as juicy as you'd like. I like to keep mine pretty simple, honestly, but I know some people like to make them really specific and have a lot of details, but just do whatever feels right to you, what feels good to you. Again, this is very similar to visualization because it's all about embodying that feeling. And that's why we say these statements in the present tense. It's especially powerful to do this while standing in front of the mirror, staring at yourself, but you don't have to do it that way. You can also do it while you're driving, in the shower, whatever. So you might be visualizing in the morning, which is great, but doing these quick affirmations throughout the day can help keep you in that mindset and that embodiment all day. Or if something happens during your day and just totally throws you off your game because that's life, sometimes stuff happens, just take two minutes to go back and do this work in front of the mirror again, just basically to get yourself back into that feeling. Again, this is something that is so easy to do, but so powerful. Now in a little bit different of a direction, another thing that really helps you to grow is to be around other women who inspire you and have a growth mindset. It's been said that we're the accumulation of the three to five people we're around the most. So if these people are maybe toxic or maybe stuck in patterns that you want to avoid, then this can make it really difficult for you to grow in the way that you want to. You have to prioritize spending time with the people who make you a better person. These people don't necessarily have have to have the same dreams as you. They don't necessarily have to be your expanders, although they totally can, that's great. But these people need to understand the importance of growth and fully support you on your journey. If you don't have these women in your life, then it's time to start searching for them and kind of putting yourself out there a little bit. And oftentimes once you find one friend like this, then they can kind of start introducing you to other people and it makes it a lot easier. I know the state of the world over the past year has made it a bit difficult to meet new people. So if that's the case for you, don't forget the power of the online space. That's actually how I met most of my friends today. Remember, as you move along in this journey to becoming who you want, achieving what you want, and creating the life for yourself that you want, that you can still 100% completely love who you are right now. It's not when I become XYZ, I'll finally be happy and love myself. Instead, it should be, I love myself completely and fully as I am, which is why I wanna live my life to the fullest and reach my fullest potential. You can still be happy where you're at, while wanting more. Also keep in mind that in my opinion, the journey never ends and that's the beauty of it. As we grow and evolve, so do our goals and our dreams. And so that's why it's so important to be happy in the now because we're humans and as humans, we'll always be wanting more. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button. I really appreciate it. It really helps to support my channel and help me spread the knowledge that I'm trying to share. So thank you guys for watching. Go check out these two videos right here and I'll catch you next time.